Hey Leo, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through this week's reading. This is going to be our weekly reading for July 2nd through the 8th, 2023. Let's see what's going on with Leo. The heart of your reading, we have Temperance in Reverse. This is both a sense of impatience and a growing certainty that something that you've been waiting for is not going to come together. If that's the case, it's probably because it's not in your greatest good. We have devil energy here at the bottom of the deck, so you could have been kind of expecting that with patience and time, something would work itself out and come back together. The reversal of temperance says either you're still in that waiting period or it's looking like the thing is just not going to come back together and instead it's gonna kind of like dissolve. Um, this devil energy at the bottom of the deck tells me it's likely that whatever this thing that you have been waiting for is an unhealthy uh, situation. Let's see. Yeah. Challenge energy is judgment, which is what I was just describing, basically. It's being in a state of reviewing something from the past and deciding whether or not to revive it. So perhaps staying in that state is holding you back from living your life. Or perhaps if you were to make the choice to revive something and bring it back into your new story, that it could hold you back from being the best version of yourself. And I think if that's your story, if that's if this is your reading, then you're already aware of that or becoming aware because in your focus we have strength in reverse. Now strength is the card in the tarot that represents Leo. So you are probably not feeling at your best right now, not feeling like yourself, your normal, like I want to be um, in the spotlight. I want to be out there, be seen, be interacting with people. Um, you you want to be on, but this, like you don't feel on. You feel more like, mm, I want to hang out at home and uh, hide under the covers or watch TV or watch videos or what have you. A little bit of like recharge and rest energy. It's also possible that this is a resistance to something that is trying to tame you in some way. A resistance to change. Um, an unwillingness to see your own weaknesses. So not trying to call you out, but the energy is there. So, you know, if you're here on my channel for my readings, you're probably already aware that the whole purpose of why I do this is to serve people who are looking to better themselves and work on themselves. So I trust and believe that you are ready and willing and you want to hear those sorts of things. And if that's not the case, either take it and leave it as you like, or move on to another channel that's more suited to the type of reading that you're looking for. All right, in the recent past, we do have that devil energy. So not only was it kind of underlying that current energy, but it is directly informing what you're experiencing now. Because you were in a situation or a commitment or had made a choice to align with something that was not good for you. Now, this could be an addiction, it could be uh, it feels like an addiction to a person or a relationship, like something that was just not healthy for you, but you really wanted it. You, you wanted it to work. Um, you were very intensely focused on it here. That uh, hanged man at the bottom of the deck says like, you were so close to it, even though a lot of the time it felt bad, you weren't able to kind of process it as such. Show me the overall energy. Why, why is Leo going through this? Knight of Pentacles. Um, this is a situation in your life that it, you're in the middle of something. This isn't, the, I was about to say this isn't a beginning and I look down and I see the fool in reverse at the bottom of the deck. This isn't 
a beginning. This isn't you launching into a new chapter. This is like working your way through something that's already been in process for you. This is a continuation of your story. So even though this most recent chapter of your story may have had new faces, it's probably feeling very familiar to you, like it's continuing on a storyline that you've seen happen in your life before. When you embody the Knight of Pentacles energy, you're focused and dedicated to getting where you need to go. You have a goal in mind of where you want to be and whatever it takes to get there, if there are setbacks, if it delays, if you can only take like one mil millimeter steps at a time, that doesn't uh, dissuade you from continuing on in your path. You remain fully committed. So if that has been a challenge for you in the past, reason why you're going through this is to strengthen that within you, that commitment to making progress and moving forward. Even if you don't see the results now, even if you don't expect to see results next week or next month or next year, it's like, despite that, you know that the results are coming and you know that all the steps that you're taking are necessary on the way to getting there. Show me the near future. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. If there is a nurturing energy that you've been partnered up with, or someone that was sometimes nurturing and sometimes toxic, um, I feel like they're going to be either revealing a much more toxic side of themselves, so it becomes a lot easier of a decision for you to make, or you see them more clearly, or they're just going to be withdrawing and not nurturing and providing that support to you anymore. Um, it could even be just someone who had like um, an influx of resources that are easy for them to get and they were diverting that to help you in some way. That flow of resources or support or like maybe they were like funneling viewers to you or maybe they were um, like helping you collect donations for a project. There's some sort of helper energy in getting resources to you that they're gonna be focused more on their own thing versus helping you. Um, that, when it occurs, is going to be avoiding some sort of bigger problem down the line. With the tower in reverse at the, at the bottom of the deck, it tells me it is gonna be kind of, uh, have some sort of shocking unexpected consequence for you, but it's gonna, the effect of that is gonna be lessened because of how it unfolds. Because it's showing up as the, the queen of pentacles, this mothering, nurturing, um, you know, kind of healthy energy. I, I don't, I say kind of, because I don't quite like the, the reversal. It tells me that, that it could be, you know, this toxic energy for you just like not a good match for you and where you're at. Show me surprise energy. Queen of Wands. Someone's ready for a glow up. I like this energy for you. If this shows up as you waking up one day where maybe you've been in the doldrums, maybe you haven't wanted to uh, get dressed up and go out or do your makeup and go online and present yourself in some online fashion, like something's going to flip for you where you do feel like engaging, where you feel more confident, where you feel more desirable. And that leads to you putting yourself out there in a beneficial way where people can see you and admire you and admire the good qualities about you. That'll have you feeling good about yourself. It is also possible that this is a, an external factor, like someone showing up in your life who has that energy and you desire them, you want them. 
So you may be very hung up on this Queen of Pentacles energy who's withdrawing their support from you. And you're not even look like you're not even looking when this person kind of enters your life, this this other new person who you'll find very attractive and alluring and desirable. Show me hopes and fears. The chariot. Um, I think you don't want to move on at this moment. And if that's the case, I think that fear stems from the fact that you expect like change or moving on to be something that's going to feel very jarring and very sudden and very um, like ripping you out of a safety zone where you feel you are now. Um, because that chariot energy is like one of the fastest moving energies in the deck. I say that because the reason you're going through this is a very slow and steady wins the race energy with the Knight of Pentacles. So you may want to move forward, but you're fearful that if you do, it's something that's going to like, um, almost like strapping rockets onto your feet. And it's going to be scary with how bold that movement and sudden that movement forward is. I would say if that resonates for you, that not to worry too much because what spirit, what your higher self has planned for you is much more measured and steady. You might not get as fast of a result as if you were to like zoom forward with that chariot energy, but that's not necessary for every situation. That's not healthy for every situation. Um, and if this is a, being applied to relationships, perhaps you have a desire and a history or a tendency to partner up with someone and make a commitment fast and move forward really quickly with them. So you both want it, but you're also afraid of that sort of energy. Um, this still applies. Slow and steady wins the race. Take it slow. Um, do things in order. Give things time to develop in a healthy way. Okay. Now, okay, another possibility here I'm seeing with these two queens, they may not be different people. They may be this queen of pentacles person, may be the same person as the queen of wands. And this is just your perception of them at the moment. Like in the near future, they're withdrawn and not, um, not affecting your life in a material way, whether it be through resources that they're withdrawing or their own presence that they're withdrawing. Um, but you might be surprised in that um, somehow you find them alluring. Somehow, and I, this is definitely not about like game playing. It's just like a natural unfolding of events. But they could put themselves out there in some way that impresses you, that makes them more appealing to you. You see them in a new light. They're confident, they're self-assured. Um, so that's possible as well. Let's see. I mean, I'm still concerned because of this devil energy. So if it's the same person that you had like this toxic energy with, uh, definitely bear that in mind and don't rush back into a, a toxic situation because you're deliberating. You're, 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 cho you're making the choice whether or not to revive this old energy but I see you feeling impatient and not really wanting to do the work on yourself or not wanting to be in a position of weakness as far as you see it. Um, so definitely be careful. The end result isn't really a conclusion. Um, I don't see it being resolved in a matter of a week because we have the two of pentacles. So you're, you're not dropping anything just yet. You have a sense of clarity because we have the truth here at the bottom of the deck um, with, uh, sorry, with the Ace of Swords. You're deliberating. You're keeping both things in the air at once. It's this energy of juggling. So I've got this thing. I've got this thing. I'm paying attention to it. I'm keeping it alive. I'm paying attention to this. I'm keeping it alive. So it's still this kind of maybe wanting wanting it both ways or maybe having 
it could be the energy like dating two people or taking a break from one person and dating another person and not wanting the the other person that you're taking a break from to be completely over maybe you feel like it's still up in the air still a possibility let's see your advice all right we have the star energy for some of you you're dealing with an aquarius um we have the leo card and the aquarius card um i mean i also see capricorn yeah okay sorry i'm getting distracted now um so some of you are dealing with a question of destiny if it's not that you're dealing with an aquarius if that's the case i see the two of cups at the bottom of the deck a relationship with uh destiny someone who feels like to you it feels like you're meant to be with them whether or not they're specifically that star sign. Um, if you are deliberating between two people and one of them is an air sign or one of them is an Aquarius or one of them feels more like your true north, like um, aligned with where you want to go long term, that you can build something with them long term and they have something to offer in that regard, that they could benefit your life in that way, the advice is heal work on yourself get your emotions straight take yourself from strength reversed energy and write that before engaging but to trust that and move forward with the person or situation that you feel more is is going to be healthier for you is going to bring positive healthy uh, flowing emotional state where it just feels natural, it feels easy, it doesn't feel toxic, it doesn't feel like a lot of um, difficulty, but it may feel like work. It may feel like um, this Knight of Pentacles is like, I'm willing to put in the effort, I'm willing to do the work. So I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. Good luck this week, Leo. Take care and I'll see you back next week.